1962, when I first came, it was much smaller than it is today. I believe there were 1,100 students total in, in the day and evening classes, which were all held in what is now the East Campus, which was formerly the Industrial Arts and Home Economics departments at uh, Santa Barbara State College and then the University of California, Santa Barbara College. And we had one permanent building, which is now the administration building, uh, which had been built in the 1930s as a, uh, old, a New Deal Works Project Administration WPA building. But the collegiality that marked the uh, college faculty and the relationships with the students, uh, the group of uh, instructors who came, uh, I was one-ninth of them, and this was the largest intake group in the history of the college up to that time. Uh, we were, uh, as I mentioned, quite close to the students. Every uh, academic faculty member was expected to do a lot of things that were not the case uh, about the time I retired. We all met with the students seated in the uh, cafeteria, which was small, badly ventilated and dingy, uh, on uh, more or less picnic benches, and we would talk with the students, um, advise them as to the major opportunities thereafter, uh, their two years and uh, classes that they might take. And we got to know a lot of students really quite well. And then in the break, after the uh, session uh, in the morning, we'd all eat uh, brown bag lunches, except for those who were brave enough to risk the cafeteria food. Uh, and we sit around and uh, chat with one another. So I got to know geologists and uh, uh, poetry professors as well as plumbing professors. Uh, the reason I came was I had taken a summer session class to try to use up my Korean War GI Bill at UCSB and the instructor was Joseph Kosan who happened to be the director of Santa Barbara City College because it was not until his last year which was the year before I joined the faculty, uh, that uh, the uh, head of the college was not a director, but the president. Uh, and he had sent me notes encouraging me to come. And uh, at that time, I was a coach at San Marcos High School, a third time counselor there, a third time faculty member. And I was offered a job uh, at a counselor at City College, also teaching history. They were pretty low tech, but again, it was a low tech type of instruction uh, in 1962. Uh, many of us were um, in small offices, maybe four feet wide and 10 feet long, two people. Uh, and one student could come in be, be, be because the two desks and the two filing cabinets we were allowed, there was only room for one student to come. Uh, all of us were uh, involved in uh, extracurricular activities, going to uh, student dances, uh, participating in supervising intramural activities. But with nine different preparations, uh, my first year, uh, two small children at home, uh, and uh, working on, a, on my PhD uh, any hours, uh, along with going to Air Force required reserve meetings. Uh, it was a very busy time. Uh, in my 32 years here uh, as a full-time employee, three presidents stand out and then some faculty members stand out and uh, a, a vice president as well. Service under Joe Cosan was short because two weeks after I showed up, he accepted a multiple campus superintendency in, near St. Louis, Missouri, and there he was gone. Uh, the assistant superintendent of the Santa Barbara City Schools, Douglas White, who was really a nice guy and who actually recruited me to be a teacher and coach uh, in the local high schools, uh, became uh, the acting president. Heavy lifting uh, fell on the shoulders of Marie Lantaine, who was the uh, dean, they didn't have vice presidents then, of uh, student pupil personnel and uh, Robert Kassir, who was the dean of instruction. Uh, Bob Kassir was a neighbor. We started playing tennis as soon as I came here and uh, until his 
uh, injuries uh, got so great we continued playing tennis for the next uh, 50 years. Uh, they did all the heavy lifting and so I have to say without doubt through the uh, very much of that first year they were the major players. Now someone who soon came was uh, Dr. Robert Rockwell uh, who was a local. He was uh, originally from Carpinteria and uh, had an EDD from Harvard. Uh, Dr. Julio Bortolazzo, uh, like uh, Bob Rockwell, he's another local who wanted to come home. Uh, he had been a very su successful Northern California president superintendent and uh, uh, was a bit of a spellbinder uh, and was able to pass a major bond issue to enable us to have the West Campus and improve some of the older buildings, which are quite frankly a pretty decrepit even in the time when he joined uh, the uh, complement here at City College. He was only here a year uh, and he went off to be the head of the technical and community colleges in the state of South Carolina. But uh, what a difference. Uh, some people called him Hurricane Julio uh, because he was um, a man of uh, uh, considerable bombast and a great deal of uh, ability to speak. Uh, the last uh, superintendent president who was here was Peter McDougall, who was an extremely able guy, and I think in almost every way possible gave this college terrific, uh, terrific leadership. Uh, Bob Kassir really didn't like being an administrator very much. He decided that he re his real interest in education was to be an educator uh, rather than a, an administrator. This is not to say that administrators don't have uh, important functions. And he returned to being a political science uh, teacher, and he was very, very good at what he did. The standards are high, the lectures are beautifully organized, and always had time for students. <clears throat> and he had a certain charisma about him, uh, as one might think, because he was a three-year varsity basketball player at UCSB and president of that uh, institution, as well as uh, uh, Santa Barbara High. So he's got a bit of a local legend. And he was the sort of uh, instructor I re always really wanted to be. Uh, Hank Baggish is another one of the major players. Uh, it was Henry who came to my classroom at San Marcos High School, uh, evaluated me, and then told me he was going to recommend me to Joe Cosan uh, uh, to join the faculty as a history teacher. Uh, Henry served here about forever. Uh, and. Uh, it was his role, not only being a fine teacher, but an innovator. Uh, it was he, along with Bob Gassier, developed large classes and uh, provided uh, clerical support for them. He worked on self-guided one-unit classes and was the, one of the two founders of the Academic Senate. And in that role, helped to provide for, at first, shared governance, but academic governance. He. Uh, led the charge for a sabbatical leave policy that uh, was one of the finest amongst all the California community colleges, Sam Wake. Uh, Mr. Wake was the director of what was then called adult education, now known as continuing education. And when the city schools uh, spun off city college, no one really quite knew what to do with the adult education which was considered perhaps the best one in the entire United States. Uh, Sam Wake, uh, who had an advisory council of hundreds of people and was um, a heavy hitter in the community, uh, elected to go with the new community college district. Uh, but he had contacts on the board of trustees and in the community uh, that far exceeded any superintendent president. And um, quite frankly, we loved having him there because he was great when it came to bond issues. But on the other hand, if he disagreed with the president of the college, uh, the president of the college usually came out second. Uh, and, and one uh, beat a hasty retreat over toward Magic Mountain in that regard. Uh, so um, he's gone, uh, but he did write a history of Santa Barbara City College. A third component I think that made Santa Barbara City College particularly uh, uh, memorable to me, and that was the students. Uh, the students were obviously far fewer in number, 
uh, far less diverse. Uh, of course, uh, then as now, all you have to be is 18 years of age and uh, profit from education. That's the state education code said. One of my wry comments uh, that I heard, I didn't initiate it, uh, from one of my colleagues was the primary requirement to get in Santa, Santa Barbara City College was the ability to turn left off Cliff Drive. Uh, and so uh, we had older students, to be sure, retirees, but mostly high school students uh, from the local district. Uh, and through the, uh, I should say about 66, uh, the first four years of my tenure here, uh, because there are a lot of Korean War veterans or people who had mandatory military service, uh, and I was young, uh, seem young now, at uh, 29 or 30, a lot of these uh, students were about my age, uh, some were older. Uh, some of the retirees called me Sonny, all right, uh, and it was, uh, uh, so there was a shared feeling of uh, experience. Uh, it was a group of students who were not very uh, politically aware, not very confrontational, somewhat careerist in interest. Uh, there wasn't really a huge attempt to recruit uh, disadvantaged uh, minority groups at that period of time. Then came uh, the 60s. Now, I went away to uh, uh, UCSB to write my dissertation and to work there one year, 65, 66. I came back and it was like a different world. Uh, in 66 and the 70s that followed, uh, the students were very politically active. Uh, we had the, the influx of many students from around the world, and so the student body became very diverse. And Mi was a much more interesting place. Uh, the faculty worked hard at recruiting uh, the various trustees because, of course, there are geographic trustee areas. And we knew people in the community and uh, encouraged them to run, uh, actually uh, uh, made calls of uh, neighbors and friends to encourage others to, uh, to elect them. Many of the people, such as Dr. K. Alexander, uh, served for many, many decades uh, in a dedicated way without pay. I enjoyed coming to work every day because most of my relationships with students was very positive uh, and to see them uh, master of what I had to offer in terms of being a history teacher is also uh, work with them in any other ways providing scholarship and some of my students went on to Harvard and Stanford and Cornell uh, others uh, uh, went uh, elsewhere but I knew that by writing letters of, re of uh, recommendation or supporting them for scholarships I think I might have made a difference uh, the, the last thing I'd like to point out is this is just such a beautiful spot. Uh, I just, every morning when I would um, uh, ignore the 40 mile an hour speed limit on Cliff Drive uh, and come to work uh, and pull in the parking lot, I'd look out at the Channel Islands, I'd look at, out at maybe a fifth of my students surfing at Leadbetter Point uh, and say, gosh, am I lucky to be here.